His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. My offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Lord Margrace. Name we haven't heard before. Clive. Uh. Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour? He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is an old friend, one who is... Sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? 
and he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma, as a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me, everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood, and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road south, then? Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Care Northern. If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would. Well, you should know. Okay, up here is a big open field. I want to what get the right. Royal is thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. What 
much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. The land has fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... of course not. My liege, I serve you, and you alone. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if it would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours... It's the only hand I need. Now, and always. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go.
One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> You've come for me after all. All clear. That's a nice trick. You'll have to teach me sometime. They're all empty. And you gonna give up? Sid, this gate. Need some help. Most of the lifting. <laughs> At your leisure, Clive. This door only leads to more royalists. We better find another one. through the chapel. Then Great Grieger must have plans for us. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the dominant? Well, you shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of them. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. 
I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Stand back, Clive. Finish them. Well said. At least it's not for that one. Doesn't look happy, Tom. Come on. Not this time. Ooh, here we go. This should be a level up too. Fifteen. Are you all right? Do I look all right? <coughs> Not long. Benedicta will be on her way to collect the dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. <sighs> Come on, Toggle. All right, Benny, let's do it. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. 
This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heeds every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! Ah! Come, little lamb. To the slaughter with you. Too slow. Yeah, not this time. Atta boy, Torgo.
Yeah, Torgal. Jesus! Torgal, it's just going for the head. Shit. Simple Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? <laughs> Enough of this. What's going on? Who 
her power, you, you... You took it from her. How'd you do that? What are these explosions? Seriously. I hope the bear has found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse. And I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominant started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. that I created a diversion as commanded your grace the villagers escaped in the confusion as should we yes what if that's not an ifrit what if that's Joshua Oh, look. Morning has broken. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. Benedicta said you'd taken her power. You don't still have it, do you? I... I think I do. I can feel it. It's... inside me. Along with the flames. Well, are you not keen to try it out? What could possibly go wrong? I'll take care Where of did you two... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's only me. Gav. Dummy, Gav. Are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. <sighs> Don't do things by half, steer. This way. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bears, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be. Had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. Sh she's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get you. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> What am I going to do? What the Barnabas? How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Hey. Okay. 
What do we have here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't appraise her worth. Stay away! <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on. Let's go home. Is this it, Sadolphus? My punishment for not listening to you? As I expected, it's temporary. <laughs> Sid. Do you feel it too? By the flames. She's drawn in too much ether. She can't control it. If Garuda isn't stopped, that vortex will swallow this whole forest and us along with it. Then I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. Oh, I should have gone with Gav. <laughs> uh, uh. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedict's rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. He's in there. I know it. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother? Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Look 
for this. Go! Sit! Forgive me. Where did he go? Oh, shit. <laughs> Mommy? Sorry.
for nothing. But a monster. And I will not let you stand in my way! Yeah. <laughs> again. Oh, you're lifting me up this time. about ready for hellfire because we need to do some hellfire. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> There's so little and bony.
Though it should be dealing damage to me when she gets hits in too. That's a little strange for for the game. But I guess they don't want you too low on HP and then dying in the cutscene. Holding her in place and burning her. There's Hellfire. Through the slain again. And a level. Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! Too nice is your problem. Bloody mess this. Gonna draw attention too. Jason was inside you all along. <laughs> I'll be damned if I know what that means. Except for we know there's another person. Why did you have to listen to him? Venner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? 